Now, in this video of link, we will cover the projection operator. Whenever we have a data source such as any database table or any collection, we may have some number of fields out of which possibly we don't want to retrieve all the fields all the time. So in that particular situation, we can choose few of the fields out of that availability. Now, when we go for the few fields, like for example, I have five fields in my data source, but out of that, I want to get only three. So this will create an anonymous type because I'm not selecting all the columns. If I'll select all the columns, then in that particular case, the actual type will be the type of the output. Or if I will go for a single field, then for example, that particular field is of string type, then the outcome will be of string type. But if I'm going for some specific number of fields out of that, it will create the anonymous type. So let's have a practical implementation where in projection uh, operators, we will cover the select and select many operator. So let's have a practical implementation now. So here, when we talk about the projection operator, here we use something called select, which actually tells like how much means how many fields out of a given collection or object you want to retrieve. So here, like the previous videos, I have created a collection of employee type. Here is the structure of my employee class. And according to that, I have created a list out here, which is returned by this get employee function right here in this employees object. So if I want to make a retrieval from this given collection employees, then here is a simple query like from EMP in employees, select EMP, all right? So here, basically I am retrieving all the fields from the given collection. If I will execute this, you can see like all the records and all the fields are here in the grid view. But if you want to get some specific fields, then in that particular case, you can just say EMP dot name. So that will bring only that single field with the name name. And here in the grid view, you will be able to see all the names of the employees. If you want, you can use the where operator as we have done earlier. Now, the thing comes like when you want to get multiple records or multiple fields, I should say, from the given collection means, for example, I want to get AMP name and along with that, I will also want to get the salary. So in that particular case, I will not be able to get the intelligence right here in this particular way because when I am retrieving multiple fields, that will actually bring the anonymous type because if I'm selecting EMP, EMP is of employee type, whether when I'm selecting EMP dot name or department ID, that is of a specific type, like for example, name is of string type. But when I will go for any other field, it is not a defined type, means the pair of EMP name and EMP salary is not defined. So for that particular case, what I'll have to do, I will use a new keyword which will generate a new anonymous type out here. So inside this, I can simply say emp.name or emp.salary and so on. So basically this is the generation of a new type that is an anonymous type. And now here, if you will put the mouse over result, it will be I enumerable of A, where A is an anonymous type. Similarly, if you want to get another fields, you can simply Keep on selecting like that itself. When you will execute this particular query, you will get the actual name of the properties like ID, name and salary in the header. But if you want to rename that particular field like aliasing, then you can simply do one thing like EMP ID is equal to, then you can simply call the particular property name like this EMP ID is the alias is equal to emp dot id emp name is an alias and emp dot name similarly salary giving this alias is not compulsory but yes if you want to go for an expression like for example i want to get the annual salary of employee for that i will simply multiply it by 12. so here 
as an alias, I will write annual salary. So in this particular case, since you are going through an expression, passing the alias will be mandatory, but in other cases, it is not. So let's execute this again. And now here you can see EMP ID, EMP name, annual salary as the column headers. So this is a common uh, query syntax for the link statement. If you want to go for the anonymous, I means uh, if you want to go for the lambda expression syntax of a query, you can go for that as well. So for that, what I'll have to do, employees dot select, all right? So it will do the selection. Here, I'll have to pass a lambda expression where EMP goes to EMP dot whatever you want to select, all right? If you want to get all the fields, you can just say EMP, it will retrieve all the fields. That is, here you can see it is I enumerable of employee type. But again, if you want to get multiple columns, you can say it like new, and then inside you can do it in a very same manner, like EMP dot ID, EMP dot name and so on. So either in either way, you can write a statement and you can use the select operator for that. So this is how you can start working with the projection operator in the link statement.